Hey guys, it's Carolina here from Carolina's Crafts and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I have a project share to share with you guys. And oh my gosh, guys, I was making this literally like it took me all day. And it's because I was also filming a tutorial. And even though I had my phone plugged in for filming, my phone was dying faster than it was charging. So with filming and everything, it was just dying faster than it was charging. And so it literally took me all day between charges and everything to try and get this done. But it is finally finished and I'm happy to share with you guys what it looks like. So stay tuned and we're gonna go over all of the details. So this is actually um, a project I have been owing you guys because I had done um, a fall themed one a couple of months ago, or I don't know how many months ago at this point, but a few months ago I did a fall themed one and I asked you guys if you guys would like a tutorial. A lot of you guys said yes. I think most of you guys said yes. Maybe all of you. I don't remember, but I know I needed to do a tutorial. So I finally did one using up some scraps from the Christmas Delivery Collection by Cardabella. And you guys are gonna see in the video what scraps I had to work with and everything. Um, but this is what I was working with. And I'm so happy to report that most of my scraps are pretty little now, with the exception of this larger sheet, which I don't mind because it's plaid. And a lot of the time I need a plaid for a project, especially when I'm missing a sheet for, I don't know if I need a sheet or something. So plaid is always coming in handy. Like I don't even want to cut into it until like I need it with some kind of other project. But these are the only scraps I have left, which yeah, there's some larger scraps and yeah, I can make some cards with this, which I might because I do have some ephemera and tags that would work great on like um, the front of a card. So we'll see what I do with that, but I'm holding on to it because I have more of this collection. So if I need these scraps, I could use them or, um, you know, I could make cards with it, which I think I might want to do. I think I might want to make cards. So for this little folio, I mean, I guess it's not that little. Um, it measures five and three quarters by like seven and five eighths. I think it what it is. Um, and it's just, it's a cute folio especially with like this design here and I love it so it's got a ribbon tie closure there's an additional front page here's the back okay so this beautiful thing right here I used a die and this is a die that is meant for like a slimline card I think because I think that's why I had it um and I just love it or maybe it's just like a border die actually I don't even know. But this is from the KS Craft Store um, from AliExpress. And I'm pretty sure this was meant for like slimline cards. But anyway, so I used this. Now, this is a little different than my before project that I shared with you guys. Because in the fall themed one, I used this die um, instead of this this is what i wanted to use and it's what i couldn't find in the original video um so i ended up using this one so you guys could see they're a little bit different um but either one will work however the larger border definitely works a hundred times better than something like this that's not even like long enough for this page so i did make it work with the actual original um in the fall project that I shared but this is the one that I had wanted and intended to use it's just I couldn't find it at the time <laughs> so anyway I will have this link down below if I could find it if it's still available I will have this um, border die set thing linked down below so you guys could get your hands on it too and if you don't have that one try to use whatever else you have in your stash or you could always make a template um like draw out, draw out a template on cardstock and you could just use that your template instead but like i said doing it with the border die worked a lot better anyway 
so on the front cover here i have this cut apart that just says it's beginning to look a lot like christmas i double matted it and then i added some flower embellishments then this piece actually opens up like this and here i just have um, a little pocket with a tag and the idea behind it is that you could write on the back so i i used this paper from the collection specifically so that you could do some writing on the back and i was thinking like Maybe here you would want to write the year of the photos or just a couple of things that you want to remember with whatever photos you're going to add in here. And then I added in some stickers. This is not from the same collection, just a different collection, but they were in my stash. And then I added this sticker up here, but I left this guy open so you can tuck a photo under it or whatever else you might want. However, if you are putting a photo here, I recommend leaving this border here so don't add your photo like add your photo here not the whole entire page and then I guess I mean I wouldn't add anything here because there's a magnet here um, and the magnet is here so try to make your photo smaller because with the pocket already um, I mean the magnet still closes but with you don't want to add in anything else in the pocket because then it's not going to close you don't want to add photos to this don't bulk this up but that's why i left it as a writing space on the back instead it's definitely usable and functional just don't bulk this part up anymore <laughs> if you're going to be buying this oh which by the way reminds me that this is available in my etsy shop in case you guys are interested in purchasing it um and it's a super cute um folio which you guys are about to see when we look at it on the inside um the tutorial will be coming in the next couple of days um i will make a cutting guide for it as well and then there's also going to be a following video after the tutorial doing all the paper matting and this border piece and everything so just the base tutorial is going to be next and then after that will be all the paper matting and the border decorating and all that fun stuff so it is going to be a two-part like tutorial but there will be a cutting guide for the base part of it and um, that will be on my coffee website so while you're there um, downloading the cutting guide please consider making a donation um, for you know just like a little buying me a coffee so now let's open this up i do have a ribbon tie closure here for the rest of the folio and in the original, I actually only had a half inch um, spine here. I increased it in the video, which I do show you both ways in the video, but I highly recommend going with the three quarter inch spine because then it doesn't like, like you'll, you'll still have space to add in your photos and whatnot. Whereas the half inch, like it was already kind of very chunky and bulky. Um, so I definitely recommend going with the three quarter inch spine. Um, but I do show you both in the video. So here's what it looks like on the inside. And I used more of that border piece for these pockets. And I had double matted them with gold foil and then the patterned paper. Um, here I used a cut apart from some other collection. I mean, this is just some ephemera that I had in my stash. I think it's from my favorite Christmas by Echo Park. Um, but I thought it went here and so I matted the rest of the waterfall with like the buffalo check kind of pattern but on the left hand side here as you guys could see there is a waterfall there is this belly band closure that is magnetized but when this opens this up and i matted paper here and everything so when this opens up you can add your i think it's the four by four size photos hold on no i actually think it's like four by four and a half um so let's see oh that's upside down so it depends i guess if you're adding up to this or not but you could fit i would go with like a three and a quarter by four and a quarter photo so three and a quarter by four and a quarter is what i would do or you could just do a three by four um i did not mat this because it would bulk it up way too much so i just did a strip on the bottom um like a continuous kind of strip here just so you can add your photo here and then if you'd also like you could add the photos on the back as well so three and a quarter by four and a quarter and i just did that for all of this here and then here um there is a little pocket so you could put this tag here in this pocket if you would like 
I was thinking you could just add in some kind of memorabilia, so I didn't put the tag there and I put it in here instead. Um, but you could add in a couple of additional photos if you'd like, or um, I don't know, maybe like some kind of ticket stub. Maybe you want to go see a light show or whatever, or I don't know, anything else you want to include in there. Uh, behind this waterfall, I have this large photo mat booklet kind of thing. So you can add photos here. You can make, you could put a card in here. You could write your greeting card message. You could actually tuck in an additional card in here because this is a fairly big pocket. So if you wanted to tuck in an additional card, you could definitely do that in there. But you could also write on here if you'd like, or you could add photos and collage them on here or just add in some larger photos. And then you could add in photos on the back. You could add a photo on the front, however you would like to do it, but that just lives behind that waterfall here and then my double pockets i just love them they're just so pretty and i love it with the border um but you guys are gonna see the border piece is definitely quite the challenge when you guys are working with this so you guys will see that in the video it is um quite the challenge so if you guys are up for it definitely you know give it a try but I have these two pockets here and inside each pocket is a photo mat um, I didn't put anything on the back so that you could add your photo directly but you'll be able to fit a like a five and one eighth by three and three eighth inch photo so three by five ish kind of photo um, or you could add in like a smaller photo and then you could write with like a white um, pen and then write like a little note. You could add in a couple more photos in these pockets as well. And then same thing on the bottom one here. I just have a tag where you could write another message on the back. And I've got the seam binding from my scrap cabin shop. You guys know I get all my seam binding from her, um, from that Etsy shop. So I'll have her link down below as well. And I'm going to have this collection linked down below. Um, I'll try to have the My Favorite Christmas also so you guys can get the ephemera. So I'll try to have that and the gold foil paper I'll have linked down below. And just basically anything I used, I will link down below in the description box. Um, and then in this pocket here, I just have another photo mat where you could add a photo um, to the back. And if you want just a smaller photo and then write something on the side, you could do that also. So that's just what this cute little folio looks like and I love how it turned out it's so cute and I'm especially happy I was able to use up the rest or the most of the rest of my scraps that I had and you guys will see in the video what scraps I had to work with because we're gonna we're gonna do it all together on camera so I hope you guys enjoyed this project share video um, I'm glad I finally got this video filmed for you guys and I can't wait for you guys to see it um, again, links are down below for everything. And if you guys are interested in purchasing this, it is also available in my Etsy shop. Um, and yeah, stay tuned for the videos. Just note that if you guys are trying to watch the other videos, I will have them linked down below, but they are going to say private until they're actually posted. Um, and cause they're going to be scheduled like a couple of days in advance at a time. So it's going to say private until it's actually posted. So if you're watching this, the day that I post this, those videos are not yet posted. They're not available. It's going to say private, but it will be available as soon as it does actually go live and get posted. So if you're watching this at a future date, those links in the description box will work just fine. All right, guys. So thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned. Hope you guys enjoyed this project. Let me know what you think, and I will see you guys in my next crafty video. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.